Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go through the door of mystery. It's no longer a mystery. <laughs> um, well, there is the compass. I'm almost positive because it's the last big treasure chest left. I already got the dungeon item, dungeon map, and boss key, so... Please be no like-likes. I, I recall there being like-likes in this room. I don't know why. Is that a torch? That certainly looks like a, a torch-shaped thing. Mm, I can't climb up there, so... Let's try lighting... Oh, no! I'm low on magic power. You know what? This may be a good time to go outside the temple and go get... I mean, go to that fairy's fountain and get that upgrade, so I'll be right back. Okay, remember this spot over here? Whip out your megaton hammer. Go to town. Takes two hits to destroy one of these kinds of boulders, so... Don't think that your first hit is going to destroy it as you may expect normally. And this will also lead you to a little shortcut back over to the top of the crater. That will lead you back out to the very top of the dungeon. By the way, that heart piece that you see up there at the smoky center, that is a thing that we'll need to get with a bean, which I'll show you how to do later after I finish the fire temple. So anyway... Please... Don't look at the Great Fairy directly. Oh god, cover your ears too. Oh, I looked! Why did I do that again? Well, at least we'll get something quite awesome from this. Oh, thanks. Now please give me something so I can leave here. Plocks. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you can get this later on after you leave the fire temple if you'd like. I'm just getting it now for the simple fact that I need some magic power and I'm tired of going through pots and it seems like I need Din's fire a lot in this dungeon. So I, I figured upgrading it would make the dungeon just a little bit easier so I wouldn't have to keep grinding for magic power and stuff like that. And yeah. Oh, I, I would prefer going to another fairy fountain, honestly. Your services are not what I'm looking for. Anyway, back to that other room that I was stuck at because I didn't have any dang magic power! I knew that was going to get me once. I just knew it! This room. We're back. And now we're going to see if we actually needed Din's fire. Because I kind of gave up on this room a little too quickly thinking that that was a torch. This better be a torch. Otherwise I'm going to be horribly disappointed that I went all the way back there for nothing. Ah, yes, it does light. Alright. Actually, wait, that did that light off center? Yeah, I think there's a torch inside that torch. <laughs> I think that's how they kind of... Did the modification in uh, Master Quest here because I noticed that um, if you hit the in the main room, the lobby of the room here, um, not not here, excuse me, but in the main room where I lit those torches inside those statues, there's actually torches inside there hidden. There's a false. There's a false. I'm incredibly disappointed to see you, but at least I can kill you a lot faster than I used to be able to with my paring knife. And we're climbing up here. Perhaps I should have checked which side I was going up before. <laughs> I was going to say, perhaps I should check up here to see if there's any... Oh, well, that's a much quicker way to get up here than to climb. Well, who the heck would use the fence then? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's go through the door and see what's up. Literally. Oh, no. Not this room. Oh no, the boulder. Wait, hey, camera, camera, but let me, thank you. That, what, freaking, Jesus. <laughs> okay, this, this room is incredibly annoying. Not, not because of these guys, but because of the fact that, if you remember in the original room, there was Goron's trapped within 
um, like cages such as that. Well, what happened in this room is that they actually turned another one. They actually turned them into bombable walls. Like instead of them caging certain Gorons, they uh, some of these walls are bombable. If I'm not mistaken, unless I'm thinking of the original and not Master Quest, but I doubt that because I re recall being stuck in this room as well for a good while. Um. Isn't this the- yeah, that's the door it came through. <clears throat> Okie dokie, what am I looking for? I don't believe I can hit switches with Din's fire. Just saying. <laughs> uh, I think I already explored the entirety of this room. Oh, well, I'm sure there's more to it, believe me, I'm sure there is. But I mean... Uh, wait, but what, what, what? What are you pointing to, Navi? Green? Song of Time, perhaps? Is this what I'm missing? Well, I did make a Song of Time block, but it's kind of out of reach. <laughs> uh, there's this locked door here. Mm-hmm. There's something there. Elizabeth's just being his normal annoying self over here. Mm -hmm. There we go. What what did you point to over here, Navi? Wait, are you Did I hear Skulltula? Skulltula? Hello? Ah 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 see a bomb of a wall! I told you there were I told you, you didn't believe me, but I told you. And here's a switch. But this is the kind of switch that you have to hold down unless I can get to the door quick enough. I think I could actually get to that door quick enough before the door goes back down. I mean, the gates go back down. Well, maybe. Just maybe. Because I, I remember there is that other switch with that torch back in the Deku tree. Hmm. I guess not. But remember that other one back at the Deku Tree where you had to light your torch while the torch was going out, basically? And here is another freaking bomb of a wall. Dang you. Normal Skull Tula. That is not... What? Oh, I bet you that made hookshot targets appear throughout the room. Ah, okay. Now we're in business. <laughs> Okay, what am I looking for around here? I recall there being a hole in the floor, like that over there, that I was able to bomb, maybe? I just like to like throw it from a distance so I don't get myself caught up in the explosion. There we go! And I bet you that leads back to the room with the compass. Well, maybe. Uh, I can climb back out of it if need be, so... Ow. I, I gotta say, Link's voice, a lot sillier as an adult than it is as a kid, I have to say. Wait, well, I heard that. I heard that Liz of False. Was that on the upper level or something? Where, where are you? Where is that critter anyway? Eh, no, I want to... like that. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's plunk. And it opens the gates, which lets me get ye old compass. <laughs> Just as I thought. Now, Lizaphos, I don't know where you are, and frankly, I don't care. Just as long as you don't harm me as I'm going up this fence. Because I would hate to climb up this thing again if you knock me off. <laughs> so I'd very much appreciate if you were to stay up there and not bother me. Thank you. Okay, now there's now you can see where the treasure chests are in the dungeon. Not that it helps for like certain places where keys may be hidden that aren't in treasure chests or something like that. Mm, 
Like, as far as I can tell, first floor, second floor, fourth floor, and fifth floor are practically cleared. Well, except for that one room in the fifth. Whoa! So that's where you came from. <laughs> but anyway, now that I can navigate my way around here, I can once again make another Song of Time block appear because of the fact that they don't stay when you exit the room. <sighs> Needless to say, I'm a little bitter about that. Um, the way that I'm playing the Song of Time so fast is that I'm actually using two fing- I mean, two thumbs to- What? You're- No! I'm using two thumbs to play it, like I'm doing left thumb, right thumb, left thumb, left thumb, right thumb, left thumb. I'm, yeah, I'm putting my left thumb on the C stick to do this song a little bit faster. I kind of developed that method through, uh playing the song 150 times by now. <laughs> so that definitely helps speed things up a little bit. Yeah. Now I'll be able to get up to here, I reckon. Yeah. What's the point of coming up here? I don't know. Probably to get up to here, maybe? Woo! Oh, wait. I didn't mean to jump down there! And there we go, I, I ended up inside this little cup, like I was supposed to, not on top of it. See, I was trying to jump down from it just in case I would get, like, squished or something like that. I, I didn't want that to happen, so I figured, it nah, wouldn't be such a good idea to... What? What's that? What's what? What? Woo! Fire slug? Or torch slug, excuse me. Um, basically, you can just attack it when it's flaming. It doesn't really matter all that much. It's not a very hard enemy, but it gets all panicky when you do hit it when it's on fire. Uh, okay. I hear like likes, and I don't like that sound. <laughs> the term like like is far overrated because I do not like them in the slightest. They take my equipment away. Oh, oh, that's not a like like, it's a um, fire or torch slug, excuse me. I'm gonna call them fire slugs for the entire dungeon, aren't I? Okay, well, at least they aren't a like like. That I can live with. But why was there a hook shot thingy there? Is that just a handy way to get up there like the other room had? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> um, if I jump down here, I will end up back in that room. Yeah, that room. Oh, wait, there, that's a totally different set of platforms. I could actually jump down there to get to those platforms if I wanted to now. I don't know if that would be useful or not, but I can do Ah, I can do it. Um, there is a thing there. Ooh, these things are slippery for whatever reason. There is a block there. Ow. Is that a Skulltula underneath the... Oh, wait, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah! I don't know what the heck this does. Is that really a Skulltula under... Yep, I can see its twitchy legs from beneath the... Ah! And I'm gonna have to figure out the puzzle. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 now I got these over here? Wait, wait, where'd this switch come from? I didn't see this switch before. I ne huh? I bet you I have to. I bet you this is a time thing. Yeah. And now I can do this. Perhaps. Uh, I'm gonna have to reset the thing, aren't I? That's all right. But I definitely can hit. I mean, I could definitely grab onto that hookshot target from the ground here. If I can aim carefully enough, get across. Go, Link, go! Go, Link, go! Grab! Grab! I need to get this out of the way to get the skull too loud. Dang it. There we go. Because otherwise, I can't do this. I need to get my hookshot out. And, yeah, the hookshot can get through fire without any problem. And there we go, I got the token. So there was a Skulltula token in this room after all. Now, what do I want to do in this room is the question. 
I don't recall there being anything else in that other room, ex I mean, in the other rooms, except for that room that had those two treasure chests in it. Like, do I want to risk jumping down onto those platforms? Is that the only way to get on there in Master Quest? Is there, like, can I plop down onto it using one of those hookshot targets, like, for more accuracy? Like, that'll make me fall straight down that glowy rock wall. That might be the one that I want to aim for. Maybe. Or maybe I just want to jump down. Ooh, I'm... Ooh. Actually, you know what? I'll decide that in the next part. I'm kind of making this part go on for a little longer than expected, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in that. <clears throat> see you then, excuse me.